Lancaster County's new prognosticating groundhog might surprise you because she doesn't have any front teeth. Poppy was found at the base of a gentleman's driveway in Conestoga. Uh, she was about four weeks old. Her eyes were still closed. He immediately knew that she was way too young to be out on her own. Uh, captured her and brought her into us and we started rehabilitating her. However, as Poppy um, grew with us, we discovered that she had a birth defect which is why she's with us today. Uh, she has um, what's called a malocclusion. She's a rodent and their teeth, their incisors are ever growing and hers didn't align so they couldn't grind themselves down so they were ever growing right out of her mouth. Oh, she's fantastic. <laughs> Poppy's pretty friendly and when you're determining um, the, the, the keepability of a non-releasable animal, their demeanor is very important. You want to make sure that they're okay with people. Um, you want to make sure that they're not hyper nervous. And Poppy was okay. And that's why we decided to go to the extreme to remove her incisors and to turn her into an ambassador. Well, of course it's Groundhog Day and we, Pennsylvania is kind of big on the prognostications. Um, so we have a groundhog and she has to prognosticate. Uh, with it being her first Groundhog Day, uh, we're gonna put a special little spin on it. It's not gonna be quite as formal. It is a family event on Saturday. And uh, then on Groundhog Day, the official day, we are doing the Poppy Pillow launch here at Villain Rue. And uh, her likeness is going to be screen printed onto pillows and um, tote bags. And then a portion of the proceeds are coming back to Raven Ridge Wildlife Center. You can meet Poppy this Sunday on Groundhog Day 2020. For Lancaster Online, I'm Danielle Zolkowski.